Hello guys, it's Susanna here. Well, I'm back for another bird. Um, and I apologise for not being here uh, last Tuesday. And I'm late today as well. Um, I've, I was being a bit sick sit last um, last week. Um, didn't have COVID, thank goodness. But um, yeah, I was pretty sick. So I missed my Tuesday <laughs> and my Saturday. Um, so I'm here to do the blackbird. But I thought I'd show you what um, this looked like when it was done. So I actually went in with some pencils. Um, just uh, the ink tense pencils here here and here a little bit because it needed that bit of that darker color and I thought rather than doing all the stitching I just I just did that with some pencils so um, and then I embroidered a little bit more blue on the head because it looked a little flat so just some extra stitches to extend it to make it a bit rounder so that's what that one looks like just doing yellow stitches around what I might do when I'm finished them all I'm gonna um, take a photo and then I might put in some of the kits because I do have a, um, a few of the big kits left over but I might take a photo of all the finished ones so that you've got more of a detail of what's going to happen now we are on so we've got the cardinal and the robin and the tufted titmouse and the wren so originally I was going to put the blackbird here, but I just think it's too close to the edge. So I'm thinking of putting it here. So um, this is a good photocopy. This is a photocopy. My um, It ran out of ink. So the blackbird is very simple. It's only got three pieces. And then the last one we're going to do is the bunting. So um this is going to be a fairly simple simple one this week so i've got the beak so i'll take the beak off there and then i just thought rather than just having all black i'm going to sort of put in a gray so that goes there a little bit smaller than the picture and I think that does go there okay so I'm going to have it like that and then that's going to go underneath there Hopefully you can see it's really hard to see because it's it's you know dark on dark and then oh, oh. I might have to put him up a little higher because the legs are gonna go a little higher. Oop. Sometimes you just gotta fiddle. until you get it right okay there we go it's enough room for the legs plonk that down okay now we want to get that fairly right Sort of sitting up. There we go. That sort of way. And then I think the bunting is probably going to go down a little bit lower. So. There we go. I'll just unplug this and put it away. Down over the side there. 
Okay, so moving. Now this one may be a hard one to see. So um, as in to watch me um, do like painting and everything like that. So what I'm going to do is you get your piece here. around about here so just get your little couple going that way and then let the last one sort of go in there and then this is sort of hidden behind on a bit of an angle okay. and the eye I might do in the white the white gel pen see if I can get that to work okay now I know that sort of going like this and then the picture's going like that I do want to get um, you know like outline some of the wings and then that was sort of coming in there like this I can sort of see this a little bit more with the picture and then we got I want to do it with the with the black and then we've got some I don't know they'll be connected and so the eye is about there um, I'll leave that because that's going to be coloured in um, orangey colour and then it, yeah I sort of wanted a little bit more on there okay and then we usually have lines of some sort coming in there so I might do a little bit grey I know there's a line going across there as well so this is why you need your um, your gel white gel pen as well okay so what we're going to do if I zoom it in probably need to I'll zoom it in a bit because we're getting it more in the middle be tricky so you only need um, a few colors for this I've got the gray these are the colors that you get in the kit okay um, and here is the yellow from that I used from last week so um, I'm gonna put that and maybe even I might even use this on the beak as well so um, so that we what I'm going to probably put these in I've got this darker grey sometimes I use DMC and sometimes I use um, I mean yeah all depends what colours I've got in what oh, this seems to be Yeah, oh goodness. Wrapped around somewhere. There we go. There we go. So that's going to be the grey. 
and I think I have probably put on a bit of a brush but I don't mind that it sticks out it does stick out a fair bit there um, so I'll start it here and work down Move those. So, what we're going to do is just we'll start here. hard because I've zoomed in it's hard to know and so all we're going to do is just do you know like a, a bit of a grab a stitch which will grab it and add a bit of color at the same time and make sure that it stays down Now what we're going to do is do this similar stitch um, all the way around the black and I won't do that because you, we know I'm sewing black it is really hard to see sewing black on black I mean as it is you probably can't you can't see this but trust me you know it's I'm doing it <laughs> um, yeah when I'm sewing black on black it's quite it get try, quite tricky okay so this is more of a, like a dark gray onto the black um, but I just wanted to rather doing black on black got a little bit of this that's a from a men's shirt that was sort of like a grey, grey, black, just so that the belly was just a little bit lighter than the rest of it. So, and then when we get down to um, the bottom there. Continue on um, with stitching. Just wondering if this is going to be light enough. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If anything with um the sort of the flossy type thread, she may come apart. So I'm just going to be stitching so that we've got a bit of a just a running stitch. Just to define the wing and the bits and pieces in the wing. It's going to be really hard for you guys to see, but this is why you you stitch with um why you put on the gel pen so you've got a bit of a an idea of where to go. Sort of want to see it, but I don't because you know it is a blackbird after all. Um, and I thought if I stitched it with the white, it would probably be too light. And this way you can still see it. Gives it definition and you can see that there's a wing there, but it's in a grey. 
Oh, um, I'll bring it up to the camera once I've finished as I'm going up to the edge there. Okay. Now this is going to be not a great deal of stitching like the um, like the cardinal because all, all the the work and stuff is in is in the in the colour like you don't need it. You can even see where I've gone here, so I'm going to go back down. here I need to stitch some of those little things down a bit further there we go okay and I don't know if you can see that or not see how I've done that stitch that along there you can sort of just sort of see the stitching along there so I will continue on all these bits and stitch down and then we're going to get black and do uh, like hold, hold that down and then do the highlights. So I'll pause it and then I'll be back once all those little bits are done. Okay, we are back again and I'll show you what we have done. So I've done finished all that stitching and you can't really see it but I've stitched around the outside of the um, blue blackbird the best way to show you is show you what I've done on the outside so you stitch there and then I stitched along there because you can't see it on the other side now what I'm going to do now like I said this is going to be a quick one I'm just going to do the eye so I've also done, when I did stitches in that grey colour, I sort of did um, what they call is a short and long stitch, you know, sort of satin stitch, because it just needed shading um, in the picture that you get. You'll have a better one than this. This was my ink was running out. Um, there's definitely a definition there, and I just wanted to make it like shading because the head's turned in a strange angle, and that's what I really wanted to portray like stitching there and then filled it in with that that grey colour so it's shading but um, actually I'm going to pull that out and I'll start on the other end so unlike the other birds that have all got black eyes or brown eyes and you have to do a white this you need to do yellow it's got a yellow eye and then we do a black in the middle so we're just going to do a stem stitch fairly close together Going over all the white that we've got there. That does seem a bit odd, but I'm going to go around it in this darker colour to sort of make it more of a, a circle. And then once we've got the black on the inside. Okay, so I'll go down in through there. And we're on the lighter yellow, even though it is pretty bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. and do the same here i'm going to go across and we're going to fill it in with stem stitch okay 
because it's sort of got the lighter one on the on the bottom. I was going to go either side, but I find it, it sometimes warps the the thing. So I'm just going to go straight across. Okay, and then we'll come back with the. And then I'm going to do come back with a black and do a black line across and maybe outline it. So switch that off. Just hopefully we're in camera. I'll get this just slightly darker. Yeah, not quite long enough. Yep. Slightly darker colour. yellow on my fingers from when I finished off doing that previous bird with the um, with the pencils now so sorry about all that part and parcels no. now we'll just continue on just here Sort of don't want to pull it too tight but not too loose either. The main feature of this bird is the eye and the beak. Everything else is fairly, um, you know, straightforward and black, you know. So, what makes this bird? A little bit more stark is the bright beak and the bright eye and these bright yellow eyes which is a little bit different but that's how it goes now okay but I do like them all birds are nice And so then I'm going to go around with um, black to um, re-highlight the beak again. So I'll go um, there. I'll go around it. Oop. Going a bit skew with. There we go. You can always go in the direction you want it to. That's okay. Now we're going to use this same color to go around the eye hopefully we're in and just do small little I'm going to put this on I'm going to push through a few layers
go. The fact that they're not joined together is okay. So what we need to do now is get the black Just thread it over there. And do a little black um, dot in the middle. And I might go back over with my pen. to do the yellow. Okay, we've got a fairly big black. So I'm going to do a um, colonial stitch, which makes it a tad bigger. We want a fairly decent size black part there we go and then we go over here and we're gonna go in and through Oh, it was right on the end. And I may even go around it. Actually, I might go around it with the pen. Because I don't want the thickness. But I do want the uh, the dark. I mean, if you want to, you can um, do that. What we did there with the pen, um, rather than stitching. But I think the stitching is okay. Now, okay, okay, yeah. well, what I'd like to do. Let's just do a little dot, which is what you've got there, and I might even do a tiny little bit of white because it does seem a bit flat. And like the other one over there, the head seems a little flat, so I might when 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 you you know you finish up and you're doing stuff and things don't look quite how you want them to you work around that so the head looks a little fat and the feet are similar to 
all the other feet that we've done, you know, all the little feet that you just stem stitch that so I won't worry about showing you how to do that but the head seems like there's not enough so what we're going to do is just like I did with the starling I'm going to add a little more just to make it look like the head is not so flat Which is what you can do. There we go. Black is awesome in that way. That, um, that you can make it. You can't see. Can't see any of these stitches really. Okay. I might go back over here and I may stitch this down because the beak seems awfully fat. Might thin it out a bit. There we go. Oh. And then that's Pretty much it for the blackbird. I've got a little black all over me. Um, and then next week will be our last bird, and then we go on to um, the stitching of the uh, the leaves and stuff. Right, stitch that down. I wasn't going to use the cotton, but I think it needs it. The beak seems a little fat to me. So, In, as it's true in real life and you know black is slimming maybe we can slim the beak down a little there we go I haven't got much of the black left I'll work on that later oh sorry my head in the way Give that an iron down. Push that down. Like that. Makes the beak a little smaller. So it's probably yeah, yeah, I'm not, not that happy with the beak to be honest. I think it looks a little big, so I am probably going to shorten it with by putting some black across. Um so if I do that. And then do that. Um, it'll make it a little smaller. Um, yeah, so like I've said before, if you know things that you're not that happy with, you can make it a bit smaller. So I personally think that this part is too wide. There we go. It's amazing what a black pen will do. Yeah, that's it. Much better. <laughs> so um, I may go back in there like I've done it with the pen, but I may go back in there with the thread. So that's our little blackbird. It's looking rather cute. Um, so we've got this guy up here, cardinal blackbird. I've got to do the feet yet, so that won't be long. And then I'm going to probably do... I think the little bunting is going to be sitting either here 
all on there so one of those two we'll see and I think it's looking rather lovely so um, yeah very a little bit unusual but it's more about the shading and doing all that kind of stuff so um, okay guys well I will catch you uh, next week and thank you very much for watching and thank you for the patience of um, you know I haven't been that well so haven't done the videos but so um, I'll I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.